Now to that Okoe police officer indicted by a grand jury for shooting into the wrong house. If you keep tabs on WFTV.com or follow Channel 9 Shannon Butler on Twitter, you saw her break the news of the indictment this morning and the fact that the officer, Carlos Anglero, turned himself in overnight. Shannon, he was indicted after the homeowner testified during those proceedings. Well, he did, and we were told the two officers involved in this shooting did not testify in front of that grand jury. It is still unclear what kind of evidence the grand jury heard or why they came to this decision to only indict one of those officers. In fact, that indictment is still sealed. It's hard to tell now, looking at this home on Bellhaven Falls Drive, that it was ever the scene of what's now being considered a crime. Back in February, this is what it looked like after two Ocoee police officers shot it up. That night of February 6th, the homeowner told Channel 9 he heard a knock at the door at 1.30 in the morning. He said he asked four times who was at the door. He claimed that no one identified themselves as police officers, so he got his gun. He said when the officers saw that gun, they started shooting inside his home, barely missing him. He told us they fired nine times through the front door. Today, the family attorney said this was the right decision. To hear that the grand jury um, handed down an indictment for at least one of the officers um, was good news for them. Uh, they've uh, been obviously suffering um, and struggling emotionally. It turned out that the officers had been sent to the wrong home after dispatchers used cell phone towers to pinpoint the caller's location. The dispatcher was investigated, but in the end, it seems the blame is falling on this one, a Coe police officer. Now, Carlos Anglero is actually still an Ocoee police officer. He is on administrative leave without pay. As for Stephanie Roberts, the one that was not indicted, she has been fired from Ocoee PD. We are live tonight at Ocoee, Shannon Butler, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. Please have a seat. All right, I understand we have a verdict. Yes, ma'am. All right. Can we return? Any reason we should not return the jury before I call them back in? No, you're not. No. All right. Let's return the jury. All right, state recognize the presence of the jury. Yes, Your Honor. Defense recognize the presence of the jury and each member thereof. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Anglero, recognize the presence of the jury and each member thereof. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Please have a seat. All right. Foreman, who's the foreman? Mr. Foreman, do you have a verdict? I do, Your Honor. All right. Would you pass it to the deputy, please? Mr. Deputy. All right, Madam Clerk, would you publish the verdict? In the Circuit Court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit, in and for Orange County, Florida, the State of Florida versus Carlos Angelero, case number 2016, CF 13418. Verdict, read the jury, find the defendant, Carlos Angelero, guilty of the charge of shooting at, within, or into a building in violation of Florida Statute 790.19. So say we all. David at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on the fourth day of January, year 2018. And it has been signed by the full person. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Would either uh, party like the jury poll? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, let me get the jury. Juror number 306, Thomas DeFritis. And is this your verdict? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Juror number 177, Sharon Larson, is this your verdict? Yes. Juror number 170, Monique Sanders, is this your verdict? Yes, it is. Juror number 85, Robert Yee, is this your verdict? Yes, it is. Juror number 152, Michael Van Buskirk, is this your verdict? Yes, ma'am. And juror number 280, Arthur Kampmeyer, is this your verdict? Yes, it is. All right, satisfied with the polling of the jury.
Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, this concludes your service as jurors. Uh, but before I discharge you, um, there are some special privileges that are owed and owned by uh, juror members. I want to thank you for your time and consideration of this case, and I want to now advise you of some of those very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, <clears throat> the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious, uh, from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. Again, on behalf of the citizens of the state of Florida, I thank you for your jury service, and you are now excused. Please follow the deck. All right, please be seated. State. You are the defendant has a criminal history. Uh, he's an officer, so he is entitled to a PSI. Um, are you requesting a PSI at this point? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I will order a PSI to be conducted, and we will uh, set a sentencing date. Um, let me find that date for you. Okay. It's probably going to take about 60 days, I would think, to get the PSI back. Is that what you think? So let me see. The next one would be. So we can set sentencing. Uh, does March 27th work for both parties? Defense? Okay. We'll set it for March 27th? Yes, Your Honor. At 10 a.m. in this courtroom? State recommendations pending sentencing, if any? Any requests from the defense pending sentencing? That's generally what occurs at this point. Okay. Speak to the court's discretion, Your Honor. All right. I will uh, leave the defendant. Uh, I'll release him on ROR pending sentencing, and uh, we will have set sentencing for that date. Okay? I believe this concludes the business of the court for this evening. Yes, ma'am. All right. We will be in recess. Thank you. All rise.